century and a half ago, it wasn't supposed to be this way. Denver wasn't even a cow town yet, just a dusty mining town at the base of the Rocky Mountains. But by 1881, after railroads connected the Queen City of the Plains with the rest of the country, the stockyards rose up on the north edge of town. Each day, dozens of locomotives steamed in from the mountains and plains, their cars full of cattle, sheep, and hogs. Anxious buyers and sellers pushed their way down crowded alleys, eager to see whose cattle would fetch the day's top price. It was a grand experiment in American capitalism, the convergence of city and country, the beginning of sophisticated markets and trade. But there were two other stories that were written along Colorado's front range. The first was the National Western Stock Show. Founded in 1906, the stock show is now the largest of its kind on the planet, boasting the world's only pin and carload show. The second was the rise of American agribusiness, the advent of modern irrigation, the access to capital, the growth of large feed yards, and the beginning of the integrated international meatpacking companies. Today, Denver is a cosmopolitan city, having shaken off its early cow town roots. But each January, during the coldest month of the year, a pilgrimage returns to the base of the Rockies, where the trains once rumbled in with cattle and the stockyards still echo with memories. I am Angus, and this is our story.